Would you keep the kids for us one weekend? You got to be kidding. No, uh -huh. mama. A whole weekend? Yeah. No, I ain't keeping them little bad ass kids. No time. Let alone a weekend. No. No, no, no. Come on. <laughs> but mom, that's enough. No. But mom, what part didn't you understand? The end or the O? And drop one for the folk down here, man. For my niggas that roll green. Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Whistler. You everything has gone through. The paperwork is complete. You are now the proud parents of five boys and two girls. Before you get to meet the kids, let me tell you a little bit about this. Now this is TJ and Artie. They're the two youngest of the group. If you drunk, keep going to the morning. I don't care if you can style the mowing.
just playing wrestling, that's all. Baby, what are you still doing up? I thought I heard a ghost making noises. Boy, that wasn't no ghost, that was just me and your Boy, that wasn't no ghost, that was a commercial on the radio. Can I sleep with you? Hell no, take your butt on back upstairs to bed. Go on back upstairs, baby. I'll be up there a little later tuck you in. Good night. You know what? Every time we get ready to play house, one of them badass kids always coming down here interrupting us. I want to take them back. First thing tomorrow morning, I am taking they asses back. No, we cannot take them back. And keep your voice down before one of them hears you. I want them to hear me. Look, how about this? How about... Just the two of us take a little vacation. When? Tonight? No, silly. As soon as we can find a babysitter. Oh, my God. Now, who in the hell we gonna get to watch these badass kids? We can't even get our own kid folks to watch them. Hell, no, I ain't watching them badass kids. Shit, people always calling me, asking me to watch people kids. I don't watch nobody damn kids. Well, I don't know. How about this? What? How about we put some ad in the paper? No, we don't run away. We put an ad in the paper. You know what? That don't sound like a bad idea. Matter of fact, first thing tomorrow morning on my way to work, I stop at the newspaper office and put an ad in the paper. And that's a good idea. Kids for sale. No. <laughs> We're okay. looking for a nanny. Whatever. Ain't nobody going to watch some kids, though. Yes, they will. I'm going to bed. Good night. Hey mom, where's Jay? Well, good morning to you too. And he went to the newspaper office. The newspaper office? For what? Hey mom. Mom, I think this house is haunted or something. Haunted? Why do you say that? Because I got the sounds last night. Mom, I heard some scream last night. Is there a ghost in the house? There was no ghost last night. Mom and Erasmus. Erasmus, that's what I heard last night. Y'all was loud. Mom, why is that at the newspaper office? Well, your dad went to the newspaper office because he put an ad in the paper for a nanny. Nanny! Nanny! Oh, we need a nanny for him. Yeah, Mom, why do we need a nanny? Well, your dad and I are going to take a little vacation, just the two of us. I want to go. I want to go. It's just gonna be me and your dad this time. Aww. Well, when will y'all be there? When will y'all be back? Well, as soon as we find a nanny to watch you all, your dad and I are gonna be gone for the weekend. And while we're gone, I expect for each and every one of you to be on your best behavior. And yes, ma'am. Now y'all go upstairs and get washed up so y'all can come down here and eat breakfast. Telephone. It's your cousin. He wants to know if your babysit tonight. Babysit? Shit. Um. Homie, don't leave me out. No, 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 leave it here out. It's right down the street. Let me tell y'all a story, man. About these badass kids, man. I was babysitting them last time, man. The little boy. I think he about nine, ten, something like that. I don't know. The motherfucker almost killed me, man. Set my motherfucking kitchen on fire. Burnt up the whole fucking kitchen. You know what I'm saying? Oh, hell no. Not me. Then, the little motherfucker gonna go hide in the closet. Bury himself under a whole bunch of motherfucking clothes and shit like as if he wasn't gonna catch fire. He protected, but everybody else in this son bitch finna burn him. Man, no. That's the end of that. No. You wouldn't believe the day I had. Man, let me tell you. It was a rough Oh, um, do we have any luck today? Well, yes and no. What do you mean, no? We had somebody come by. But let me tell you what your kids did to the only person that actually stopped by here today. Now, what did they do now? Well, I'm here for the nanny position. Oh, come on in. 
Can I get you anything to drink? Are you comfortable? Oh, no, thanks. I'm fine. This is very impressive. You have over 10 years' experience with kids. Um, did you really babysit for the Wayans? That was a lot of kids, wasn't it? Oh, no, not those women. These women only had two kids, not 17, and they wasn't famous at all. Well, neither were the ones I was talking about, but, um, you know we have seven kids, right? Oh, I don't see that as being a problem. I bet they're just little angels, aren't they? <laughs> sure they are. Kids, come here and meet the nanny. Where's TJ and Artie? Oh, they're on their way. What happened? What is going on? We were upstairs playing doctor. It hurts. Would you like to play doctor with us? It hurts. Oh no. I think I'm gonna have to pass this one up. Thank you. Besides, I'm actually late for my next job interview. I can see my way out. <laughs> what? I know they did. Yeah, they did. Well, you know what? I got something for them. Today at work, this guy gave me this number, this card. Mm. This lady named Miss Mary. Mm. He said she's a mean one, too. Miss Mary? Huh? Yeah. Sound like an old auntie. Yeah, but she's, anyway, she's supposed to come over tomorrow morning, mm -hmm. you know, and so I just wanted you to be expecting her. You think she can handle our kids? They say that Miss Mary can't do it, nobody can. tell you about these badass kids. I heard one of the little boys set a house on fire. The only reason why I took this job because they took my social security. I don't want to watch these badass kids. 
Let me go inside and meet this family. Mm -mm -mm. I got 11 of myself and 32 grandchildren. Ain't that a lot of kids? Yeah, that's a lot of kids. Was it really hard raising all those kids? Oh, no, child. Me and my husbands raised them just right. They didn't give us no problems at all. Not like those youngsters these days. You said husbands like in more than one? Child, let me tell you, back in the day, Miss Mary had it going on. Mm. It was too fine, young man. I just loved him some Miss Mary. I couldn't decide which one I want, mm. so I kept them both. Lord rest their souls. Ooh, must have been a lot of drama up in your house. Oh, no, child. Let me tell you, Miss Mary wanted the type of woman to stand for foolishness. Mm. It was my way or the highway. I'm the type of woman that bees in control and stays in control. Okay, well, I heard that. Uh, I guess you got enough experience to handle lots of it. If you really want the position, I can take you outside and meet the kids. Kids, come up here. Somebody wants you to meet. My name is Miss Mary. This is Tiffany. Nice to meet you. This is Artie. Me too. This is TJ. Hi, Kitty. This is Miss Michelle. Nice to meet you. Whatever. This is DeAndre. Hey. Nice to meet you. This is Dante, a little scientist. Nice to meet you. And this is Eddie. Nice to meet you. Oh, this scar hurts so bad. Oh, it sure smells good up in here. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. What's that? It tastes better than it smells. Now go and get out this kitchen. Have yourself a sit down. Breakfast will be served in a few minutes. Okay, I'll go read my paper. Mm -hmm. Man, I like this nanny. She got the house smelling good. Yeah, she really does, and I can't wait to eat, but are you sure we can trust this lady? I mean, ain't you like we can get your mama down here to babysit? You know she be talking about them kids behind their back? No, she does not. Ooh, I hope she gone. My goodness. Let me tell you about the little badass kids she want me to keep. How damn, they tear up the house, eat up all the food, waste all the milk, don't want to go to bed, and she think I'm going to keep them? Oh, no. Uh-uh. Not today. Plus, you know what they did to her the last time she was here. Well, I don't blame her. She tried to burn the whole damn kitchen down. No, she didn't. She just needed to have that cataract surgery. That's all. Plus, she can't cook. My mom can cook. Anyway, the plane leaves at 4 o'clock today. <laughs> I hope you done saved up your energy. You know I'm the Energizer Bunny. Yes, baby, I know. You keep going mm -hmm. and going to sleep after two minutes. Ha, ha, ha. Very funny. For your info, I got Viagra this time. <laughs> okay, we'll see. Breakfast will be served in the fruit. And Miss Mary Food will give you both energy. And I got a special drink for you, sir. Mm-hmm, sure do. I used to give it to my husbands every day. Um, I don't think I'll be needing that. Besides, I'm an orange juice man myself. Well, little ginseng wouldn't hurt sugar. It'll help better than that there Viagra. Well, I think I'll call the kids down to come eat now. <laughs> this lady tripping. You're right, can't we trust her? <laughs>